Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but prices on the FIBA 23 market in the past couple of days have been falling. And what I wanna do in today's video is talk about why some of these prices are dropping, what is causing it, and is it gonna continue in the next couple of days into this week with foot birthday content still rolling strong, especially after yesterday's very surprising Hero player pick SBC. So we're going to talk about that and, of course, what to expect today on a Monday because most of the times on Mondays, the market rises a decent amount. So we're going to take a look at that and more. If this video helps you at all today, hit the thumbs up on it and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Firstly, let's do a little overview of yesterday's content because we had not one but two very interesting SBCs yesterday. The first one I want to talk about is... Jonathan Bamba, right? First special card in a, a couple years in FIFA. High, high work rates, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. This is a big W of an SBC. I know some of you guys might be like, Nate, this card looks pretty solid, but he doesn't quite fit my team. He's not good enough to fit my team. This is an incredible SBC if you're on a lower budget and you need some France uh, left wing links, left mid links in your team. I know he's got high, high work rates, which might bring him back defensively a bit more, but for 50,000 coins, five-star skill moves a very meta dribbling card i know a little low on the composure but still you've got the outside foot shot trait flare speed dribbler really really good sbc only two squads so easy to do and very highly upvoted on footbin uh because this has been a really meta player in past fifas i think this is going to be a card that a lot of people on lower budgets will be completing and it's got me actually pretty interested in some of the french france links that are out there right i actually bought a couple lacazettes at 120k uh he is kind of gone back up a bit but i really feel like for players that have a low budget this sbc is massive and a lot of people especially with like taliso that could be coming out later on this week and just france links being very popular in general this is a card that a lot of people are going to end up completing uh especially on lower budgets so just kind of watch out for that sort of market impact there you've already started to see some cards go up in price that are french we've been talking about this leading up to seeing all the leaks but like check out this amavi amavi was 38k on the weekend after specifically yesterday's sbc he is up to 48,000 coins. So he is up a good amount per card. And that, again, is due to the fact that we had a really solid France SBC that people need links for. So we're going to continue to see that. We'll talk more about that in today's video as well with how the market is doing. But the big SBC yesterday was this one. It was the 87 plus FIFA World Cup or Fantasy Hero player pick. The rumors were true, man. I can't believe they actually did this. It surprised me big time. I mean, think about it. We have not had team of the year icons in any sort of upgrade packs yet. Those were out in January for team of the year. Fantasy foot heroes uh, have been in the game for what? Since the beginning of this month? Like literally the beginning of March is when these cards dropped in the game and they're already inside of a player pick pack, which is pretty crazy. Some of them haven't even gotten upgraded yet. They will this week with the uh, fantasy upgrades back on and ongoing. But this SBC made waves yesterday and definitely impacted the market. 350,000 coins. It's got a very high upvote percentage. But let me tell you guys, I did this SBC. I got absolute nothing, right? If you want to watch us open some more, uh, the video that we uploaded uh, earlier yesterday, double upload yesterday, that's what I was mentioning a couple days ago about uploading some different types of videos. Check that video out because that will give you a good taste of what these player picks were giving out, and it was not very good. But it did impact the market because, of course, some people were packing some pretty good cards. Actually, the most commonly packed uh, W, I guess you could say, out of those player picks was Al Awayrin, and his price shows it. He is 600 180,000 coins down almost 100k from where he was yesterday. He got packed so much out of those player pick uh, upgrades. Now, the Fantasy Foot Hero cards, some of them were actually really, really good to trade with. Um, Abedi Pele was down under 1.1 million coins, and now he is close to 1.2 besides that undercut right there. Basically, that card is the only one that is under 1.2 million coins. So, W rebounds in a lot of these fantasy cards. Kewell had a good rebound. Um, even Ledley King had a pretty good rebound. So those were great cards to trade with yesterday because people were panic selling them. But then it was like, oh, they're not getting packed at all. So they kind of went right back up as people went back out to the market to buy them since that SBC was not really giving them out at all. Now, SBC fodder, how did that impact 
uh, get impacted by the SBC yesterday. You know, guys, it's really interesting because high rated fodder stayed about the same, maybe dropped off a little bit, right? Like we mentioned in yesterday's video, the squad battle rewards, we knew were going to have a pretty big impact on the fodder market. Take a look at Lewandowski. You might think squad battle rewards are harmless, right? But when so many people are playing that mode and getting rewards, Lewandowski went from 81k, like all of the 91 rated cards went down like four to 5,000 coins a piece. And they kind of went back up, but they're still a little bit low, right? I fully expect these high rated fodders, 89, 90s and 91s to continue to do well, even 92s as well. Casemiro 115 is okay, an undercut, but that's a good price for 92s, 115. Uh, those are going to go higher throughout the rest of this week because people are still crafting the Nkuku, the Kante, the Mbappe, and the Cruyff, all of the high rated SBC squads that are out there right now. People are crafting them, but for the lower tier, middle tier fodder, you know, stuff is back down again after it went up yesterday. It did go up. 85s like Jota, he went from 9.7k, had a quick spike because the requirements for this SBC were 85, 86, 87. No specials, no informs, nothing in particular, just straight up squads. And so we had a nice spike on fodder, but with the weekend league supply, and I honestly think that since this pack has three segments in it and not two terrible packs inside of it, a lot of people were packing some okay fodder cards, even from inside of the individual segments of this SBC, if you will, right? So you've got, what do you have in here? You've got a rare mixed, you've got a prime mixed and a mixed players pack, which aren't amazing, but you know, you might, you might hit an 85 or an 86 out of one of those three packs. Uh, and that could again, bring some supply to the market. So this SBC, I did it yesterday. I got pop in. I was, I got absolutely shafted, right? I got the world cup pop in as well. Uh, but it refreshes on Friday. So we're going to be able to do this again. And the market's probably going to move this Friday a lot like it did last Friday in relation to some prices dropping after content because of that big time SBC being refreshed again. Now, that's a lot of talk about yesterday. How is that continuing to impact the market? And again, why is this market almost feeling like it's starting to crash? Let's talk about that because I have lost some coins. You probably have seen some cards go down in price um, during the day yesterday, even before we had the big SBC of, of that hero player pick dropped. Prices were already starting to drop. I don't think we can point the finger at yesterday's content and say that's what made content drop or that's what made prices drop. No, not really at all. It's been a kind of a theme over the weekend. If you take a look at some prices on this game. I know Griezmann is getting directly affected by multiple things in this game right now, but this is a card that does show you a bit of a bit of an extreme drop, but how prices have been reacting over the past couple of days, right? Look at Griezmann over the past two weeks and kind of look where this drop starts, right? This drop starts on Friday. It starts on Friday. Now, mostly because of the Nkunku SBC, but it just, it's kept going, right? And you've got a Griezmann card that was last week, a week ago on Monday, 590k, 600,000 coins is right now 422,000 coins on the market. Even if you take a look at like Gold Mbappe, who I picked up one of his cards yesterday at like 510 because he was 500 and like 50k before dropping off. Gold Mbappe on Friday of this, like literally just past weekend, a couple days ago, was 600k. And then, like I mentioned earlier yesterday on Sunday, he was 520k, even as low as 510, where I got mine on a on an open bid. Uh, and Snipes at 510 is where he was. So a lot of prices have just dropped off. And I think we can point it to two different things. I think there are really two reasons that are making prices on this game drop right now. The number one thing is uh, we are seeing, wow, that's a lovely lazy sale right there in Holland. I bought that at 250. Reason number one is we are seeing so many um, SBCs that are draining coins. Right now, we've got, uh, as I mentioned, you've got the Nkunku, you've got the um, Kante, you've got those big player SBCs, but then you have so many like small ones too. Like you've got Bamba, you've got Alexandro, and they're pretty big name players that haven't had special cards this year. You could even point to Gattuso as an SBC that is draining coins. Um, and so you've got so many different player SBCs and sort of gamble packs, right? We had the year in review player pick that we could all do like three times last week. Uh, we've got the hero uh, player pick. Now we're going to be able to do that again later on this week. We had the 84 plus times five last week as well. So we have so many SBCs like that, that is draining coins off of this game week after week. And we're in the second week of, of that now, but also at the same time, I think what's dr helping the coin drain kind of at an accelerated rate is what are we all taking from this uh, foot birthday swaps, right? Most people are taking 85 times 10, 84 times 40, right? And you're getting a lot of fodder. And when you get that fodder, you're getting a lot of the 84s, 85s, 86s, right? You get a couple high rateds and you feel like you can undertake uh, the big task 
I'm doing an Nkunku, I'm doing a Conte, I'm doing one of those bigger squads. A lot of people, I'm sure you guys maybe are crafting right now and working your way through a squad of Nkunku or Conte or whatever, right? Maybe it's the hero player pick. You're crafting, right? And those swaps packs help, but they make people go and buy more fodder out of pocket to finish the SBCs. We talk about this a lot, but it's so true. People hate leaving SBCs unfinished. You know, I remember that I left Player of the Month Ben Yetter's final SBC squad unfinished, and it like haunts me to this day that I left an SBC halfway done or two thirds of the way done sitting there and I didn't finish it, right? So, that sort of thing, a lot of people are doing SBCs right now, and that just drains coins from this game. And when you couple that with the fact that we're in April now, and that sets off, like, I think triggers in some minds of people that play FIFA. It's like, oh, man, we're in April now. You know what April means, right? Team of the season. I, t I tweeted that uh, literally yesterday. I was like, hey, guys, it's April. It's TOTS month. Uh, you know, we were thinking about some of our, you know, most overpowered TOTS cards of all times, right? And I think that that FIFA 19 Ronaldo is definitely up there. But I think that's also kind of in the back of people's minds. And do I think the market's going to like keep crashing throughout this entire week? That's another conversation that I want to have. I mean, the short answer is no. I don't think that it's going to continue to see this big drop off. We've had just a load of content this past weekend that was really big. I do feel like it prices could go up a little bit today on Monday. I feel like prices are going to stay maybe a bit stagnant, have a couple more drop offs throughout the rest of this week. Uh, but it really depends on what the next promo is. Uh, like for the market in the short term, like if we're going to see an L promo this next two weeks after this, because there's going to be something between now and team of the season, right? We are not on the doorstep of team of the season right now. I'm not telling you you have to panic sell at the moment. I'm just saying that there's a little bit of a risk reward scenario. If you sell right now, some of the cards from your team, you might feel like you're selling in a very, very low point uh, because prices have started to go down. But again, I'll use this example like we did last or two weeks ago at the beginning of foot birthday. Um, guys like this Captavia are still up a lot in price. I know that he was, you know, 830, 840,000 coins. And right now he's about 750. But like, I mean, this guy, when he was in packs was like 275, 300. Is he going to go back low during team of season that low? Maybe not. But I still do believe there are some price drops to be had uh, on this game, right? We didn't see the huge market crash that we thought we were going to see on some of the most top tier and meta cards during foot birthday because the foot birthday stat upgrades weren't as game changing, right? Remember this? Lucio was 2.6. He went all the way down to 2.1. And look, during foot birthday, he's gone all the way back up to 2.4. Now, after this weekend, we're back down into the 2.2s. This is a bit of an undercut, but you can see like during this weekend, he has dropped back off into the low 2.2s, but still there is more drops to come on cards like this because Team of the Season will 100% raise the power curve. It's not just going to be like small plus ones and plus twos in a lot of these cards. It's going to be some pretty big upgrades. So that's kind of something to keep in mind. Again, it really depends on the rest of this week. Yes, I'm expecting good content, but next week and the week after that, whenever we start to get Team of the Season news, really, is when we're going to start to see more panic as well. So if you have tradable cards in your team, just keep in mind that that's there. Uh, and I'm not saying that you have to panic sell right now. I'm just trying to explain what is going on in this market at the moment. You're still going to see fluctuations in prices throughout this week as well, right? What are we expecting today? Let's talk about that because I'm looking at some France cards once again because we've got a big SBC coming today. Now, this SBC is absolutely confirmed. Well, okay, we can't say that, but pretty much confirmed. I shouted it yesterday because it was kind of like the timeline of leaks, right? We were looking for Rabio, but actually today makes the most sense. And if I would have done a little bit of extra digging, I probably would have found this, but a lot of you guys in the stream notified me yesterday that Rabio's birthday is today. Happy birthday to Rabio. But what do we see with Conte? What do we see with, um, I forget who else it was last week that had their birthday on the day that the SBC was released. But today's Rabio's birthday. It makes sense for him to get the SBC in foot. So that's why I'm watching the Teo Hernandez, right? Because that would be a card that would directly link to this, that people were like, oh, I'm going to link this to, you know, the Rabio that's about to be dropped, or maybe Upa Makano, who's a card that's getting upgraded. We'll talk about fantasy foot cards here a little bit more at the end of the video because there's some interesting movements with those. But I would expect to see this SBC as a part of content today because now it makes sense because his birthday is today, right? So we saw Bamba yesterday. Today is probably going to be this Rabio card. And again, we just had Genduzi dropped in the game yesterday. We didn't really include that and talk about uh, yesterday's content. But be very careful with this Genduzi card. If you were on the stream yesterday, we bought this guy. I actually didn't. But a lot of you guys in the chat, I didn't have coins. That's the reasoning. Uh, 
This guy was about 540K. He went all the way to 630, and now he's back down to 590. I think there's a little bit more of a bounce left in him, but watch his price heading into the content drop today. I would not be surprised if the five-star skills and the five-star week version of this card do end up dropping down because people are, uh, I guess, worried about a Rabio that would probably come out with pretty similar stats to this card. Ganduzi might be a little bit better because think about how, how EA would want it to work. They would want a little bit better of a card to be in packs in the store on the market than via an SBC. So just kind of keep that in mind. I've already played against this Ganduzi. He's absolutely cracked. Uh, I played against the five-star weak foot version and he was, he was disgustingly good in the midfield. So yeah, this is was always going to be an insane card. But if you uh, are chasing Ganduzi, he is now available. The dual potential mini release right with Ganduzi, Mala, and uh, Pessina are all out now. That was a part of yesterday's content as well. So watch out for Rabio today. And then yesterday, EA dropped the provisions pack back in the store. So that has a lot of people thinking, yo, should I be investing in gold commons? Because, hey, you know what? They're probably going to be required in player picks once again. And uh, yes, the short answer is yes. 300, 350 for gold commons is pretty much zero risk, especially if you can get some higher rated ones, top five leagues. We're still getting the token SBCs uh, that can make those cards go up. Marquee matchups can potentially make those cards go up. So I think that is a very good opportunity still heading into today. I'm going to go ahead and probably stock my club with some of those to get ready for some upgrade packs. But again, don't, don't always shy away from gold rares either. Stock some of these at 650 because uh, they could also go up for SBCs, top five leagues, top nine nations. And uh, you know, EA has been allowing us to make profit off of those gold comments like every week for the past, I don't know how many weeks it's been, like three or four, right? Uh, with player picks or packs that just require mostly commons. Maybe they're going to switch it up, but I honestly, it doesn't seem like they're going to. So invest in gold commons every week on the weekend at, at minimum price and then sell them for like 650 to 700 during the week until EA changes the requirements. So upgrade packs though today, 100% coming out as usual. Um, you know, what do we have last week? The 80 plus. If we just get the 80 plus player pick again, EA, please. Like that was a fantastic upgrade SBC. Obviously, I got best from it. So many of you guys packed for birthdays, and it was just like fodder for days. So we would absolutely love that if that SBC dropped again. So watch out for an upgrade pack today. And then remember last week as well, we had the year in review player pick that dropped on Monday. I would kind of expect something else along those lines to come out uh, during foot birthday as well, right? Because foot birthday is always kind of like the party bag promo where there's a lot of that sort of stuff going on. So definitely keep an eye out for uh, another SBC like that today. So maybe you stock up on some 84s still. I mean, 84s guys are still dirt cheap. It's crazy. Uh, how cheap some of these 84s, 85s are. I did a club stock of 85s yesterday, which I ended up putting into uh, the hero player pick SBC. But these guys down here again at 9.5K, pretty cheap. So if you want to risk it, 83s to 86s, I think look pretty good for a potential investment for a short term, hopefully, for them to rise with more upgrade packs and SBCs going on this week. But again, those are the those are the same cards that are supplied so much through the fodder packs and through player picks that they're just not in demand as much as some of the higher rated fodder. Objectives really quick. A lot of people, myself included, kind of switched their focus from the weekend league to the foot birthday cup. And I know it's been, this is like really, really sweaty and a lot of people are not trying to do this. My advice to you would be at least try to get the two wins. I know you have five games a day, get the two wins, play eight. Really, you don't have to go any further than this, but I'm probably going to try to win 10, get all the fodder packs, get the foot birthday player pack. First one that we opened yesterday was Zinchenko. That was a bit of a surprise. The weight on those is obviously not that great though, uh, but that's going to be the focus and the draft objectives will be the focus of this week. A lot of gameplay to grind, which is nice. We take that um, as we kind of head through the second week of this foot birthday promo. Now, last thing I want to talk about is live cards because there were some surprises and i also want to clear up some confusion with some of these fantasy foot cards eden hazard real madrid won six nil yesterday and this guy got playing time not only did he get playing time he had an assist eden hazard had an assist so a card that a lot of people were, were thought was only going to get a plus one maybe a plus two is now in the running for a plus three if he's able to get one more assist and is able to appear in two more matches in their next five games, because they've only played, uh, actually that might be false. I think they've played 
two games so far, and he's appeared in one. So that's why Hazard's card is up big. Now, when are some of these other cards getting upgraded? Because with like the Bayern win over the weekend, that Hazard's going to get a plus one as well because they won. But I picked up an Upamecano at 440 yesterday because his price went down a bit, right? He was like 470. So I picked him up. A lot of people doing in Kunku. French links, of course, very in demand at the moment. And, uh, you know, this card and these cards that are due upgrades, Ruben Diaz as well, these guys are probably going to get upgraded on Wednesday, right? There's still games happening today. And the last time that EA upgraded fantasy cards, it was early Wednesday. So watch out for that. The plus ones, the stuff that is due. I don't know if there's any plus twos that are uh, that are in, in due here. But if you go on Footbin to the tracker, do you see how I did that there? The players tab down dynamic over to, to fantasy. You can see that um, EA, not EA, Footbin has been updating some of these already for who's getting upgrades. One thing to note, um, Newcastle, yes, they did win yesterday against Manchester United. And it, was a, it was a big win, right? Isak does not get an upgrade for that win. I think a lot of people are, are confused at the moment that Isak is not getting upgraded for that win. He already got his one win upgrade, right? These are the criteria here. He's already gotten two goals. He's already gotten one win. Yes, he is one appearance away from getting another upgrade, but all he has to do in the West Ham versus Newcastle game, which is, oh, in two days, so that's coming up pretty close. I get that. All he has to do from now till then is just play. And if he plays, he gets another upgrade. But of course, the more that they win, yes, they do progress along the path of avoiding defeat, which would get him a plus four in total. So all the way up to a 93. But no plus one as it sits right now for... Esox card on this Wednesday when they would most likely do the upgrades. So that's just one thing I wanted to point out because I think some people were confused with that. Uh, Depay was uh, supposedly injured. He didn't appear in the second game, uh, the game against Real Batiste. That was some news that I heard floating around. Uh, so just be careful with that one. Al Jaber's SPC is still available and they have not lost yet, which is a W. We shouted out Eden Hazard and Ruben Diaz. You can go through this list and check out who's getting upgraded. Ben Rama is uh, an interesting card to look at because he's going to get a plus one for their win against Southampton. And he is an 89 rated card, but going to a 90, uh, 90s right now are all 60. They were like 60, what, four, 65,000 coins, I think before their prices started to drop. I know some people that are speculatively investing for the potential of uh, Ben Rama going up and then of course becoming 90 rated and then of course fodder being in that higher tier price range right now. I think that's a decent investment. Just have to be careful. But uh, yeah, do a little bit of research. There's more games today, right? Spurs are playing today. Ledley King potential for him to upgrade with um, a win because Spurs have not won yet. So yes, if they win against Everton today, then you know, he might get an upgrade. He would go to an 89. So just kind of stuff to watch around those cards in this game. But like I said, again, Wednesday is when we'll look at those cards again for the upgrade. So I'm going to probably trade with a few things today. Um, I bought this Nunez yesterday, trying to make some coins on it. It just did not uh, do well for me, but I'm trying to sell it right now so that I can get back on the market, maybe make a few positive plays um, on some cards before... We see a nice market rise into today on Monday on some of the most meta and popular cards. So we will just have to see how that all goes down today on this game. But if you enjoyed today's video and if you're excited for what's going on in full birthday right now, if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, hit the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.